close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. We meditate so we get to know our own minds. But first, to gather the mind here into the present moment, you need something to focus it on. So we focus on the breath, because that's right close by. It's the closest thing you have to your awareness. And it's what's with you all the time. So it can give you an anchor all the time. Have a clear, very clear sense of this is where you are right here, right now. Anything that's away from here is the mind beginning to go out and do something. And you have to ask us yourself, is it looking for trouble? Sometimes it wants to be greedy for something or it wants to be angry about something, so it goes out and looks for trouble. And you have to ask why. It's not simply the case that things come in from the outside and make us greedy and make us angry. The mind goes out looking for these things sometimes. And you want to see that process as it's happening, especially you want to see it when it starts. So it's good to be anchored right here, so you have a good sense of where the starting point is. Because when greed, anger, and delusion take over, when they get really large and developed, it's really hard to work them through. It's a lot easier when you catch them as they're happening, because then you can see, oh, this is why the mind goes for that kind of thinking. And is it really worth it? It's a lot easier to see and a lot easier to change course when you're there right at the beginning. So try to get well established right here. Make this your home base. Make this your default mode. When you have no other things to think about, come back here. No duties outside, come back here. After all, this is your territory, the body as you feel it from inside, your mind as you experience it. It's here where suffering happens, and it's also here where the end of suffering can be found. So this is your territory. Make the most of it. And John Lee's images of someone who has a piece of land but then goes and tries to plant things in other piece, people's pieces of land. Of course there's going to be trouble. You have the potentials for all kinds of good things inside here, and so you want to make the most of them, because these really do belong to you. This is your territory. So you can straighten it out. You, you're the only one who experiences your breath as you experience it. Other people can see you breathing, but the feeling of the breath, that's something only you can know. Other people can see you getting greedy and angry, but how it feels to be greedy and angry in your mind, only you know. So try to straighten out your home territory here. Put it in good shape. And when you're coming from a good place like this, then your engagement with the world will be a lot better as well. So take some time to settle in here with a sense of well-being. As you breathe in, breathe out, make the breath comfortable. It can be long or short, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. Find what feels good for the body right now. And that way you'll want to stay here. Because one of the reasons why the mind goes out looking for trouble is because it's hungry inside. It's like a little child going down to the kitchen. There's nothing in the refrigerator. He'll go outside looking for food. But if the refrigerator is well stocked, then the child stays at home. It doesn't go out getting into trouble. In the same way, when the mind is well stocked with a sense of well-being, simply by the way you breathe, have a sense of feeling good inside your body. It makes the mind a lot less likely to go for thoughts of greed, aversion, or illusion, because it doesn't feel like it needs nourishment from them, it doesn't feel like it needs entertainment from them, because it's got the nourishment it needs from inside. <laughs>